Hello, this is Dr. Whiting, and today I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about a group of nutrients that have received a lot of exposure and, and press in the last decade or two, and rightfully so, and these are called the antioxidants. Antioxidant really means against oxygen or against oxidation, and antioxidant nutrients, of which there are herbs, vitamins, and some minerals, uh, among their other functions, they also help to prevent the oxidative damage to living cells and tissues of the body. You see, when toxins get into the human body, which can occur from a variety of factors, air, water, foods, food additives, chemicals in the environment, uh, overexposure to chemicals in the work environment, and so on and so forth, these toxins break down in the body. And in the process of that breaking down, form chemicals called free radicals. And free radicals are essentially chemical buzz bombs with a missing electron. And they race through the body and they attack various cells, altering the cell's DNA or genetic makeup. Because they're looking for that missing electron that they don't have. So they're looking to stabilize their beingness, their chemistry, their electrical charge. And when they rob what they need from the cell of the body, it usually results in a permanent genetic mutation. Which means that that individual cell, forevermore, when it replicates or duplicates, it will duplicate in a mutated or altered genetic state. Now, one cell here and one cell there isn't a terribly big problem. But over the years of time, rapid and high level amounts of free radicals in the human body can lead to such things as hair loss, disorders of the skin, premature aging of the skin, chronic dry skin. It can lead to more serious conditions such as heart disease, diabetes, arthritis. In fact, the majority of chronic non-infectious diseases, those that are epidemic in our society today, are directly related to the activity of free radicals in the human body. Heart disease, the number one cause of death in civilized, industrialized nations, is caused originally not by excess cholesterol, but by free radicals formed from the excess consumption of rancid, oxidized vegetable oils. So controlling these free radicals and their activity in the human body is vital to longevity and quality of life. Free radicals can damage all kinds of genetic cells. Each one has their favorite. So when we look at an antioxidant formula, we need to look at a formula that combines various antioxidant factors so that we can get the broadest protection against the widest variety of free radicals. Michael Murray, a leading antioxidant, anti-aging researcher, has often said that by combining various antioxidants together, we can achieve much greater free radical protection than by using each of these singly or individually. Other researchers since then have confirmed his position as being very val valid. Here at our research institute, we adopt the same philosophy and we battle free radical activity in the human body in a variety of ways. We tried many different combinations of, of antioxidants and um, of course we started out with the most common ones, vitamin A, vitamin C, um, those types of, of things, zinc, uh, selenium, these are all what we call uh, nutrient antioxidants. But there are a group of antioxidants which I like to call the heavy hitting antioxidants. And these are much more powerful. They're chemical substances usually derived from plants, although not always. And these antioxidants, which can be found in fruits, vegetables, and so forth, when extracted and concentrated, can provide additional high-level, high-power protection against some of the most deadly and damaging free radicals from our environment. We also use our antioxidants for people who smoke, because cigarette smoking 
produces a variety of free radicals due to the ingestion of potentially toxic chemicals. Also people who tend to overindulge in alcohol. Now one or two glasses of wine, one or two cocktails a day have been repeatedly found to be of great health benefit unless of course you have an alcohol problem. But oftentimes many of us tend to exceed those optimal benefits simply because we enjoy the taste, we enjoy the sensation, we're trying to de-stress. There's a whole wide variety of reasons why people tend to abuse these substances. Well, by taking antioxidants, that doesn't necessarily mean it renders these substances harmless. It just makes them less harmful. And there, it's an ideal thing to do while you're trying to cut down or even quit, such as someone who's a cigarette smoker. Because this provides some cellular bodily protection in the meantime. Free radical damage to the human body due to environmental toxins is probably one of the leading causes of chronic degenerative disease. That combined with al the altering of the human genome uh, through free radical activity and mutation can lead to a whole host of health problems from mild and insignificant to devastating and deadly. There's no reason why each and every one of us can't protect the internal chemistry of our body by free radical fighting nutrients. I'm Dr. Whiting. Take care of your body and it will take care of you. Thanks for listening.